Now, Darren and Anita with your Grand Strand Artist Spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone with me from Ontario, Canada, is blues man Harrison Kennedy, an original member of the chairman of the board. Harrison, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I, I'm doing fine, and I, we were talking off the air. I, I, I was telling folks earlier, we talked to Edna Wright the other day. She's in California. It's 80 out there, and I was complaining on how cold it was. Oh, Lord. And you were in Canada, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> you don't see 85s too much up here. <laughs> that I bet, is like, you know, that's bathing suit weather. That, I, t- I tell you, man. What, what is, <laughs> just uh, out of curiosity, what is the temperature like in, in Canada? Probably be, uh, it would probably be about 15 below Fahrenheit. Oh, uh, geez. Where well, you are, yeah. <laughs> well, and you... we got we got some snow. We got about four feet of snow, and oh man, I mean, I I needed a couple of days to get these shoveling muscles of mine working, <laughs> but Mother Nature had other other plans. Other plans for that, I uh, tell you. Well, for the folks who don't know, you are the singer of the song. I'm the chairman of the board. Uh, back mm-hmm. w- in your chairman of the board days, uh, what, what was all that like back then, man? And how to, and how did you get started in the music business up until that point? Well, to me, it was uh, it was it was it was like it was like living in a dream, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, you don't think in your wildest dreams that you would end up um, with uh, with with Motown, right? Uh, with Edward Holland and Lamont Dozier and Brian Holland, and to me, I just felt so blessed. I was involved in music, of course. I've been involved in music all my life. Uh, like a lot of people didn't know that <clears throat> my relatives are, uh, are up from uh, Tennessee right. and Detroit as well. And so I grew up listening to the music. But the music that I grew up listening to, one of the reasons why I did the blues, was the music from the Deep South. See, because all my relatives play uh, the music like that kind of music. Right. You know? Deep. It's almost like country blues music, you know. So that's what I grew up listening to. And um, I got involved. I was uh, I was going to university over here and working in a in a in a in a twelve piece twelve piece a rhythm and blues band. And uh, I got invited to come down to Detroit, just uh, you know, just just to come down to visit with this because uh, Edward Holland and them were interested in another singer. When we got down there, she for some reason or other uh, became. Uh, a little afraid to go on stage so they asked me would I go on stage and I did and I went on stage and I sang a couple of tunes and I came back and then I got a phone call inviting me to come down a trial for this super group that they were putting together right and that's when I met uh, uh, Danny Woods and Eddie Custis and General Johnson and uh, you know, the rest was history. It was just fantastic being with those guys. I think General's a genius, quite frankly. Well, you know, I've talked to a lot of folks uh, interviewing for this uh, tribute show coming up at the House of Blues on December 30th. And, and a lot of folks say the, the two things that I hear the most of is the energy that General had. Oh, I mean, in more ways than you can realize. I went to visit him one time and I asked Julia, that's his wife, I said, uh, where's, uh, where's General? And she said, well, he's in the back room and he's working on his piano, working on a tune. And he was in there, and he had it, he was scratching his forehead. And I said, how's it going, man? And he says, I'm working on this too, man. I'll bring the boys home. And he says, I'm really working on it. And I said, General, your forehead's bleeding. <laughs> oh, man. And he had scratched so much trying to, you're thinking, thinking of this tune, so concentrated on this tune, that he had literally scratched himself to a point where his forehead was bleeding. Wow. Now, there's a man that was, you know, I mean, once he focused, forget it. He was focused. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you know. <laughs> And he looked, he says, oh, my God, I'm bleeding. <laughs> yeah, well, you did it. <laughs> it, it. That's a great story. That's that's good. I yeah. tell you, but, you know, everybody has said that. That's all I've heard is the energy from, from him and the and the writing team and, and all that was together, and it, it was incredible. Well, oh, yeah. but was for, you, for you being in the group, mm-hmm. what was the group like going into to the studio with Holland Dozier and Holland and all that and putting together the songs? What was that like for you? Well, for me, it was uh, – I felt like I was going to school, you know, because these were all brilliant people. And, and what I, I appreciated was the fact that they had a, a work ethic, you know, that was uh, uh, something that I could relate to. Right. Because I was brought up that way, that you want something, you have to work for it. Right, to get and it. And I really appreciated the fact that, uh, you know, it took all the, the glitz and glamour that everyone sees. You see that on the stage, and that is for the people. God bless them. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, but to get to that point, you really have to work hard. You have to work 
and get to the point where it, you have to be natural enough so that you can uh, convey to the people that you basically want them to have a good time. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I see that. I see that as you say that now. Yeah. It, just in a lot of groups, in, in the chairman of the board itself. That was the operating right there. Exactly. Well, I could talk a lot about General Boy. He, he was one of my biggest... Uh, he was one of my biggest, you know, he told me something I never forgot. He said, Harry, he used to call me Harry, Harry. And I said, what, what, man? And he said, when you're writing, write for the masses. You know, don't uh, don't look down on them and don't look up at them, but look them right straight in the eye. You I know? like that. I like and uh, he was just so brilliant that way. He says, write for the masses. In other words, you're not, you're not writing for yourself. You're writing for the people. And uh, just little little things like that. He, but, was, he was scary bright. <laughs> scary bright. Well, you know, one of the things that I talked about, we did a show uh, about General, and, uh, and it was nothing but general music, stuff that he had written and stuff like that. And uh, one of the things that I remember when I was in the office a lot down at General Entertainment and Surfside Records was the anecdotes, like you said, that he would give uh, yeah. about certain things, about what you said about the people when you're writing for them. Uh, That's right. That that was that was things that I remember that meant the most to me about yeah. know, knowing him as a person. Well, Harrison, what's going on with you now? I know I've been on your website and you're doing a lot. It, you're more into the blues and what what you just talked about uh, from Tennessee uh, standpoint. Uh, yeah. What are you into now and what's going on with you? I, I'm signed to a, a, a record label up here called Electrify Records. Right. And I'm coming down to uh, coming down to Tennessee. I'm going to be working Beale Street. Uh, at the end of uh, January again, uh, it's the International Blues Challenge, right? In in Tennessee, and I love it. I was there last year, and did quite well. Uh, ended up going to Italy and France because wow. of it, so it was super. Uh, my next album is called uh, "Tell the Truth and Shame the Devil." <laughs> I like it. That's good. Uh huh. And you know, a lot of these things come from my mother. You know, <laughs> she told me when I was little. She said, "You know what? The older you get, the smarter I'm going to get." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's good. That's that the, no lie, man. But that's the truth about your parents. That is really true because you look back and you hear yourself saying sometimes what your parents have said to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boy, you know, if you had have told me that I was, uh, you know, so opinionated. Well, I'm still opinionated. <laughs> but, boy, I was opinionated then and dumb. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was man. definitely dumber than my mother. I know that for Oh, sure. that's great, man. <laughs> I also do, like, I have I have two bands. I have a rhythm okay. and blues band as well. Like, I like I do some Ray Charles and right. Stevie Wonder. and I can't get away from that stuff, man. I even do Give Me Just a Little More Time. Because <laughs> people up here associate me with that band. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So I, I don't do it in the same key as General did. I do it in B flat. I think he did it in C. Right. But uh, uh, I've even I think that's on YouTube. Me doing it with the band up here. But uh, um, yeah, I do the rhythm and blues. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm doing rhythm and blues this weekend. Uh, but it's it's more or less uh, like club dates and things like that. Right. Exactly. But for my albums and that, it's it's the blues. It's the blues. You got to love the yeah. blues. We have a lot of blues in our area here. That actually, I play uh, I play a mandolin. And the banjo and the slide. So the, the blues I do is definitely some country blues. Well, your latest album that's out right now is One Dog Barking. Yeah. So if they want to get that, can they get that off your website? They can uh, They can go to the website uh, or they can uh, try Electrify, Electrify Records. All right. And uh, they have it there. But if they go to the website, they can, uh, they'll see the information how to, how, to, how to pick it up. How to get it and purchase it. Uh-huh. All right, well, Harrison, I tell you, won't keep you and let you get back to your day, and we look forward to seeing you on December the 30th in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at the House of Blues where the chairman of the board remembers General Johnson. It's an honor to be invited, and thank you very much. Harrison, I enjoyed it so much. If there's anything you would ever like to come on and talk with us about and let our folks know about, please do so. Thanks for having me. Stay warm. Grand Strand, a music evolution.